Uh, okay, this one is second tutorial explaining about interior rendering. So we just finished uh, basic uh, rendering engine settings and basic camera uh, camera settings. So here now on, uh, I will explain how to change lighting, which is actually we are going to use daylight in here. Uh, as I explained before um, in, on previous tutorial, uh, I will use uh, first I'll select light, which is daylight, uh, and then I'll go to modify tab, the second one. And then here under uh, setup, which is daylight parameters, uh, if you click setup, you can change the location and time. So probably I change it to a little bit. Uh, I will change the position of light to somewhere fall, uh, summer and probably uh, March, spring, and then probably winter again. And then you can, if, you can also change uh, time here. Now it's 2 p.m. and 5 p.m. So somewhere. So kind of play with, uh, with this kind of uh, time parameter to change the location. So for now, in this case, if I want to change uh, the light from the, uh, the to shadow house on another window, actually I changed the time to a little late afternoon. And then if I render uh, the ch uh, using the changed position, uh, you see that also the background uh, blue sky and then it's kind of it's also changed and the shadow is actually the location of shadow is changed from your uh, east side uh, uh, war to west side. And then uh, the another one uh, you can play with is actually the sharpness of the shadow. Uh, so this one has actually a very sharp shadow here. If you want to uh, render some cloudy sky rendering, uh, what you can what you can play with is actually if you go down a little bit. Um, so I will change modify it one more time. So I'm actually going up a level. And then here, if you go down, you can see the size multiplier uh, number here. So if I use like uh, six, which is larger one, which is the uh, light, the diameter of light is it become larger accordingly. Then the shadow become a little bit blurry. So I change two to six, and if I render it, then actually you see that the kind of the edge of the shadow is a little bit blurry. If I test with uh, test it with uh, number one. Uh, which is a small number, then actually the, uh, the edge of the shadow become much sharper than before. So this one, use it when you use uh, render with clear sky, use small number of size multiplier. If you want to render something cloudy sky, then actually use higher number uh, for the size multiplier. Uh, okay, so this one is about explaining actually lighting uh, parameters.